Mathematica 8 contains a number of important performance enhancements that really take it to new areas and allow it to solve problems that it's never been able to solve before. Some of these areas include the automatic code generation, the external code generation, multi-core operation, working with GPUs, and also the external library linking. Automatic code generation for compilable Mathematica functions is a really key way to speed up Mathematica. What people do, many people use the Mathematica compiler either explicitly or it gets used internally in their own in, in functions that they call. So what happens now is that automatically these functions are converted into C functions, compiled with a C compiler, linked back into Mathematica, so that when the compiled function actually executes, it's actually executing with a C version of the function rather than the original Mathematica version. And this gives them a tremendous speed acceleration. Another advance in the Mathematica compiler is its operation with multi-core machines. So this involves running the compiled function on different parts of the data, but all at the same time in parallel. And so this is a new form of parallelism. It's a very lightweight form of parallelism that's, that's good for multi-core machines. So the code generator is useful in this automatic linking back into compile. But, but there's another way that it's useful, and that is to use it totally outside of Mathematica. So, so you can generate a program, a C program or a C library, based on your Mathematica functions, but it executes outside of Mathematica. So the big advantage of this is that people can, can integrate Mathematica much more closely in their work than they've ever been able to do before. Previously, they might do some modeling and prototyping in Mathematica, but then they would have to put it aside and start a totally new way of doing things, coding up in some, some other language. Now, using the code generator, they can do their prototyping and modeling in Mathematica, but then they can push out a, a version of that model or prototypes into this external code, and that can just go directly into their external application. And this, this keeps Mathematica much more at the core of their work than, than's ever been able to before. An important part of the performance message for Mathematica 8 is our integration with GPUs. In Mathematica 8, we have ways to connect to the graphical processing unit to do parallel computing through CUDA and OpenCL. What this means is that you can integrate programs written to take advantage of the GPU into, into Mathematica, gaining huge speed advantages, but, but it's still in Mathematica, so you can do your data preparation, visualization at the end, et cetera, program generation, all those sorts of things you can do in Mathematica, but you're getting the power of the GPU hardware to, to, to get tr these tremendous speed accelerations. Another part of the performance message of version 8 is hooking in external libraries. This is a completely new way to hook in external code into Mathematica. The way that it works is it, it loads the code as a, as a dynamic library, a shared library, directly into the Mathematica process. And this means that calling functions in the library is much, much faster than has been able to before. It's also particularly good because Mathematica and the library can share memory. This means when you want to pass in large amounts of data into the library or get large amounts of memory coming back from the library, you just need to pass a reference to the data. So if you have massive amounts of data, this is a really important way to sort of integrate external code into Mathematica. So we've made all these different advances in all sorts of different places, and we're able to use them in combination to really push the boundaries of, of Mathematica performance. You can do things in Mathematica 8 that I never thought would be possible, and that's, that's, that's really exciting.